everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. As everyone knows, this is huge news. Idol Corp was bought by Brave and now they've announced who is going to stay and who is going to leave. And they have it all marked here. What this is saying is here we go. Let's get started. Dear fans, we want to start by thanking everyone for the warm welcome following our recent announcement about Idol's acquisition by Brave Group. Your support and trust mean everything to us, and we promise to do our best to meet your expectations. We also want to express our gratitude for Idol Management Team's willingness to work with us. Their cooperation is essential for a seamless transition and the success of our shared vision. As noted in the previous announcement, when integrating Idol into Brave Group, we prioritize giving every talent the freedom to choose their future with us. It was important to us that no one felt forced into a decision amid such a significant change. We understand that transitions can be daunting and working with a large corporation structure isn't for everyone. Therefore, we are thrilled that Nikki Rei, Connie Confetti, Kai Saikota, Momo Otako, Poko Rakun, Roka Rurin, Ka Koa Akugaki, Lalabel Lullaby, Ruby Runehart, Taiga Toragami, uh, Chika Fuji Lisa, Enya Ignis, and Shabal Tonya have chosen to stay and work with us in growing idle together. This is the big news that's popping out here. We are sad to see them go, but we deeply respect the decision of Katarina Cutie, Fuyo Cloverfield, Juna Unagi, the big one, Reen Penrose, and Meika 05 to pursue their paths independently. We are committed to celebrating their journeys at Idol with dedicated farewell stream in November under the terms of the signed agreements instead of requiring any upfront payment for the IP. We will engage in a revenue sharing model for one year. The arrangement ensures that they can continue to grow their, their careers on their own terms regardless of the personal financial situations at the time of departure. So they're paying for their stuff, but in like installments. We're also excited to announce that we immediately started working on 3D model debuts for the talents who chose to stay. Regarding the debut of Idol EN3, we're committed to ensuring the highest quality debuts. To achieve this, we have decided to delay the debuts until October. Additionally, we will debut four talents following the departure of one of the upcoming talents. So even one of their talents from Idol EN3 is leaving. Also where the concerns regarding delivery of previously undelivered merchandise, we are taking steps to address these issues. We will attach a detailed shipping schedule for all pending orders in the replies. Should any delays occur or issues arise in the producing of merchandise by schedule dates, we will provide refunds. Thank you for your patience and continued support. So Green Penrose is leaving. That is huge. She's, she's going on to independence like being an independent VTuber, but this is humongous news that Reen Penrose, one of the biggest ones, Katarina Cutie as well, Fuyo Cloverfield, Juna Unagi, Make 05, they're, st they're leaving. Um, so that is going to be big. Of course, I'm going to be putting this out there for you guys. You guys can see this. That's why I put this out there. It just came out 10 minutes ago as of this recording. So by the time you see it, it's probably been hours, but as of my recording, it's been 10 minutes. Rather surprised to see Reen quit. At the finish, she had no problems with this acquisition. Isekai made a lot of amazing memories. But it's understandable to see them go. It was a good run. New Juno was going to go, and I figured that Makeup might too. But Kata and uh, Rin is a big mistake. It's a big surprise. Goodbye, Isekai. Indy, Rin, Penrose. So yeah, everything is changing. Big changes are going to be happening. The fact that so many big ones are leaving. So many. The big ones are a lot of good. A lot of them are staying. But the big one, like Ren, Rin, Penrose. Holy crap, she's leaving. And uh, that is something I didn't expect, honestly. But there we go giving you everything that I can about what's happening with Idol. For all those who don't know, Taiga is going through a lot right now. Taigaholic is going through a lot right now. They're pretty much deplatformed on almost every platform except Twitch. They got their TikTok removed. They got their YouTube removed. They got their Twitter suspended. All the big channels that they had. Over 100K for pretty much all of them. I think Twitter was a little less, but they had 100K for YouTube, 100K for TikTok, all those happening. And they got their, all of that deplatformed. This is what they had to say about it a little bit. Kind of happening. Um, like I kind of just can't catch a break. It's over. I kind of needed my YouTube and Twitter. Like I, I was barely, you know, making ends meet <laughs> with the YouTube and Twitter. And now they're both gone. And no one, <laughs> no one cares what I do. <laughs> no one wants to talk about it. Um, no one. No one cares, man. That sucks. You can hear the feet in his voice. 
You can hear how defeated he feels. <coughs> what is this about? Somebody please reach out to Taiga right now. He's trying to attempt blank and Taiga gets deplatformed and the situation worsens. This is so bad. Well, to Dylan Vintage, if you see it, F you. You are the one responsible for this. If he is the one responsible, it's the one that's, that's trying to knock down all those channels and trying to be someone who's doing all of this. And of course, people are, are, are trying to, of course, as a lot of people do, uh, they are uh, reporting this Dylan person, this vintage, vintage base, who is uh, trying to get people deplatformed. I don't know much more other than what's going on here. Um, I, vintage base has popped up on some of my videos about Taiga specifically. So they are definitely ego searching themselves. Um, but here we go. Hey, I'm back home now. I still feel completely awful. Just trying to stay afloat. Need a bit more time before I can talk properly with you guys. Just feel so completely worthless and isolated. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't want to wake up. I wish I could just stop existing. Every time I see people who did this to me, living their lives as if nothing happened, I get sick to my stomach. I'm tired of being angry, but when, whenever I repress what I become insanely that, when I repress that, I become insanely depressed and my anxiety spikes. TLDR, I don't know how to cope with being deplatformed like this. Please don't forget about me. Thank you for standing up for me. I don't want to let you down, but I don't know what the F I'm supposed to do next anymore. Um, they are getting help from some people, from some uh, people that know about the law a bit more. I, as far as I know, uh, from sources that I have, they are trying to send cease and desist to people doing these things. They're trying to, to work with YouTube in some way to try to prevent this from happening in the future and try to get their channel back because, you know, legally um, they can try to get their channel back. So this is more of a hoping that Taiga does well, understanding because I've been in that situation where people try to deplatform me with lies and slander and defamation and you feel like you can't do anything because you don't have the lawyers you don't have the money for lawyers like i don't have the money for lawyers against the defamation stuff people doxing me and things like that he probably doesn't have the money for lawyers it is hard to go against people like that because especially when they deplatform you you have no no forum to defend yourself in you have no place to to signal boost yourself and defend yourself against these things. They just they can just say whatever they want. Because if you try to create a new account, then now you're ban evasion. You know, that type of thing. It's kind of freaking weird. It's it's really annoying how these people, like people that, that hurt me and people that hurt Taiga, can get away with this and then just be fine. Hello everyone. Here we have Entergrim, which is the company that was that has made the old, uh, the, well not old, it's 2022, they made a visual novel of Aqua. And you can play it, it's on PlayStation 4, I think it's on PC as well. There's a visual no no novel, Aquarium, which is the, the first one. The sequel to that one has been cancelled due to Aqua's graduation. The first game will remain available for purchase. It says, bro, there was going to be a sequel, I wonder how it would have been about and who else would have shown up for us to Riz. We're now starting the Hollow Live Super Expo this year. It's a shame playing the visual novel. If you haven't, it's quite good and surprisingly emotional. Here we have Entergrim, which is the company that does it. They do other visual novels, as you can see here. They go to the, the Hollow Live Expo. They are, you know, they have a lot of different visual novels there. And it is, of course, it was an honor for anybody to have it be done for them. And uh, Aqua was one of the ones that had it done. This is their announcement. Aquarium, a completely new game. Notice of production cancellation. It is their sequel cancellation. And this is the language of it. I had it translated for you guys. Uh, Aquarium, a completely new game. Notice of production cancellation. Thank you very much for your continued patronage of our products. As announced by Cover Corporation, Minato Aqua will be graduating from Hololive Productions on August 28th. Due to, your, due to the graduation, we have decided to halt production of the completely new game Aquarium, which we had announced was in production. We sincerely apologize to everyone who has been waiting for further information since the production announcement, and we ask for your understanding. Furthermore, Aquarium, which is currently on sale, will continue to be sold going forward. So we appreciate your continued patronage. So at the very least, Cover did not tell them, hey, this is going to be a, a library that we're no longer going to have, an IP that we no longer want you to do anything with. They do say it to a certain extent, of course, in the sense of no future projects will be continuing, but the past projects, the projects that exist currently can still be going on. And that is good. I mean, it's bad that it, that it happened, but it's good that it is, it is going. Yahoo uh, Finance, Yahoo Japan, 
did a a whole thing on it i had that translated for you guys as well it says here hello lies minato aqua's romance at adv which is visual novel aquarium a completely new game production cancelled first game currently on sale still will be continue to be sold on wednesday august 7th entergram announced the cancellation of the production of the completely new game aquarium production of the completely new game will be cancelled following minato aqua's graduation it's it is a aquarium which is a pure love novel game starring and produced by minato aqua so she had a hand in it these are one of the projects that she wanted to do. Uh, as a member of the VTuber group Hololive, which was released for PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC in October 22, 2022, PC version in October 2023. Uh, the production of a completely new game following the same work was announced in March 2024, but it has been decided to cancel the production following Minato Aqua's graduation from Hololive on Wednesday, August 28th. Regarding Aquarium, which is currently on sale, sales will continue even after Minato Aqua's graduation. So at the very least, you can play the first one. I've heard it is a very good game. I heard it is very fun. I heard it it is, you can, you can riz up Aqua pretty much, which is always good. It's always fun to do that. Planning on playing it, but never figured out if it had a translation or JP only. Immediately bought Aquarium after her announcement. Not surprising, I doubt they could have made a game that will be done within the time announcement of Aqua's graduation. I did not know they planned a sequel. I will hug my Switch Collector's Edition extra hard tonight. I wonder if Aqua would give them their blessing to cover to use their likeness in a sequel, but feature another Hollow Man in the main role. But I doubt they'd want to step on any toes doing that. Plus, I think it's fully voice acted right, which means Aqua wouldn't be around to do it unless otherwise contracted out temporarily as an independent contractor. And that would be very different. That would be, that's a whole new headache of legal stuff. So that's why this was canceled. Of course, uh, people do try to spread misinformation. Uh, they, they try to intentionally spread misinformation. Like I have been mistaken in many things I do. I don't intentionally try to try to uh, make mistakes, but when I do, I try to correct them. Um, the bigger problem here is that A, the dude here is trying to stir up drama using Aqua's graduation as bait. Not a single person in the comments thought verifying of any of this guy's info and took it all to face value. I thought this place respected the truth, not adhering to a made-up version of reality. What they're talking about is this person saying Famitsu is biased in its reporting as Minato Aqua quits due to company pressure. I'd like to know who this we guys are, and I think they're, you know, basically they, they had a bunch of stuff in here. Um, you put Minato Aqua quits due to company pressure in quotes. Why does it say the Famitsu article? Uh, seriously, dude, pointed out because it literally says in the headline that the reason why she left was differences in direction with the company. As for singing stream thing, it's not like they accused cover of anything. They just shared what Aqua said. It's not like they said crazy digging or anything. The clip is easily found on Twitter. In fact, I found it and I used it on my first video and my second video. Oh, and here's the real sound article about Aqua's graduation. Here it says Kayo one, the one Mogu live one where the clips like seriously, you don't even need to know Japanese to verify this S. Just look at it all. All of them have links to the announcement stream. That's it. The Kayo one even uh, mentions how Aqua called us on us not to listen to rumors and misinformation, such as this post. Yes. And Suisse made an effort to actually go out on stream and go and fully explain what she knows about Aqua. What she knows about Aqua is that this is a decision that was long thought out. It happened because, you know, a lot of restrictions are happening from what she understood. She even talked about a lot of the restrictions that happened that made in the early days when Suisse started in the early days, she'd be like, oh, I want to do this and this and that. And Yago and the other ones would be like, go ahead, try it. We'll see if it works. You know, you, you have our blessing. Nowadays, she'll, for the same thing, she says, if I said the same thing, they'd be like, well, this might go against our rules. We have to check. And if not that, they'd have to check and uh, see if it would be good for PR. Have to go and make sure that the other parties are okay with it. Like if it ends up being something like you, you are uh, mentioning something or whatever. Have to make sure it works with PR. Have to make sure it works with this. Have to go through a bunch of steps and maybe a month down the line, you're going to get stuff. So it's like there's also positives. Like what Suisse said, she was able to actually be on TV. She was able to take that first take thing. She was able to do all those things, get all the popularity that she has now, thanks to Hololive. For example, Mori Calliope has openly said that it's like thanks to Cover and Hololive that she got into Universal Music Japan because she got a big enough uh, face on there. It's due to her own, of course, her own um, hard work, her own good music, because she's amazing at music. So that got the eyes of Universal Music Japan, but because the reason why I say it's thanks to Cover partly is because she was an unknown rapper before. Now she's, you know, when she got in, she immediately got a spotlight on her. And what she, what did she do there? She's freaking spent 20 hours a day working hard, sometimes not even sleeping, sometimes taking days to sleep, sometimes sleeping an hour or two a day, just a nap and then working and working, working, putting her, her nose to the grindstone as, as it says, and then just going hard at it. And now she's in the universal music Japan and, uh, 
you know, the cooperation with them. And, and Hololife is big. A lot of times those things, the, the small ones, aren't found until they get into larger organizations like Hololive and Cover that have the reach and have the, the connections to get you there. And let's see what people are saying. Once again, as Aqua said, the source of info regarding her graduation comes from anyone but her. Don't trust it. In my opinion, the main bulk of speculation is going to unfold when she leaves and won't be able to address it anymore, which is why the statement was needed. Niji must be running dry of drama. Uh, take it to DMs at this point and CC the mods. You're rechewing old meat. Yeah, it's like, of course, the talents will say, if, luckily in, in Hollow Life, the talents can actually make these things out. The talents will say when there's issues. You've had Crony, you've had Kiara, you've had other people mention issues that they've had. Suisse, even later on in the same stream, mentioned some issues that she has seen in the past. And those are things that Niji Sanji doesn't have. You, don't, you can't do that in Niji Sanji. So at least cover has that going for them, that they have a way for people to air their grievances and hopefully get some change. So as we know, has had a lot of hits recently. She's had a lot of hits to her sanity, a lot of hits to things that, well, you know, normally, uh, normal, normally it would affect everybody. I mean, it would affect me if I kept getting canceled here and there, if I kept getting people not liking me, if I kept getting people not, uh, you know, pushing for me being deplatformed, etc. Here's what happened. Uh, please stop reporting me. Twitch admins, I'm not an S content person. So she got deplatformed on Twitch, banned from Twitch for supposedly S content. Supposedly. According to this going on here, they asked, file a protest. You have my allies. You have me as an ally, pretty much as they're saying here. Uh, over here, it says, um, what should I write? People are saying here, normally there's no problem with the content. I don't understand why it was frozen. I will check again and request that it be unfrozen, maybe. Like, have them do a, a recheck have them do a um, a review, a manual review. Of course, we know Twitch is freaking uh, lazy. They don't like doing manual reviews. So the person says, why? Uh, Mika Neko responds by saying, seriously, why? They don't know. Hater report. She is a, people treat her like a law cow. Law cow is someone who is hated by the community, who is keeps putting foot in mouth and doesn't understand uh, that change is what is needed, etc., etc. I was just talking to the listeners normally. Like, I think it was for the Colin show or whatever. She's, she, I don't think she's done any ASMRs either. So that wouldn't be considered, like, there would be something that would cause this. And she says here, people ask that. I was just chatting in my Gela Peak loungewear. Maybe the loungewear? I mean, some, it, it's just, if you get reported enough by enough people, it will do this. Unfortunately, the way it is, they will get you no matter what. Um, we've had a lot of VTubers get hit by Twitch because of that. We've had a lot of VTubers get hit by YouTube because of ASMRs. Twitch does not like VTubers overall. Uh, Twitch, uh, Mika Neko has done ASMR on YouTube, but on Twitch, I don't think so. On Twitch, she just does just chatting streams and maybe playing some games, which is accepted on uh, acceptable content on Twitch. It is not any kind of crazy, like, oh my God, she's, you know, saying that she's going to do her fans or anything like that. Or, you know, she doesn't have boobs out because, well, she doesn't have any boobs. But other than that, she's just like, it is, she's petan, she's petanco. It is weird. And that's why I'm reporting on it because it is just strange. I don't know if she's gotten her channel back. I don't think she's put anything out there to uh, mention about her channel. She puts this point out here. It's always fun. Thanks to everyone. Thank you so much. Let me be my, by your side forever. So she's having positivity now. She's having some positivity. August Sith. She had some other stuff here, a YouTube a thing that was translated as, I'll be streaming Marshmallow with no restrictions. I'm still looking for questions and things if you want to ask, so please send them. So nothing she's doing on YouTube. Luckily, she has her other platform, YouTube, but it does suck that people wanted to watch her on Twitch, and when she wanted a game on Twitch, she can't. But at the very least, she's continuing on. She's not letting this be something that defines her. She's not letting this be something that makes her into a law cow. She's trying her best to do her best. This is a short numbers game thing that was going on. Um, this person is wondering why cover is down versus Nidhi Sanji. If you look at both of them, uh, they, they seem to mirror each other in what they're doing. The drop that happened was the same drop that happened for any color. The thing is, here's the issue. Any color started m lower than where they ended. Cover started higher than where they ended. So that is, of course, unfortunate for them because it's 62 yen. That's like that's like 50 cents when you think about it. 62 yen is about 50 cents. So it's 50 cents lower just about than where they started the day. Uh, they may not be lower than, than that huge drop, but uh, Nidhi Sanji had a humongous drop before that, larger than Cover did. So it's easier for them to recover from this. It's easier for that recovery to seem like, you know, a really quick thing. Um, it says, stop looking at stock price. It literally means nothing day to day besides confirmation bias. Whatever you want to see happen. Price changes mean next to nothing if they don't stick for days or even weeks. 
all your similar posts like this are doing is jerking off to minor changes. While Aqua is graduating, she's an old guard and has been activity for six years. Her announcement of departure definitely tanks a bit of confidence. That is true. That's the main thing. Whenever there's a graduation announced, look what happened to Niji Sanji with Selen graduation, uh, termination, and then Pomu graduation, and then Kyo graduation. That knocked everything way lower because people were like, holy crap, there's a lot of people graduating. You know, whenever you have a graduation, especially an old guard like Aqua that's been here for six years, it erodes confidence a little bit. Investors are, are, are spooked easily they're like freaking bunny rabbits you look at them the, the wrong way investors are gonna freaking spook that's the way it happens <laughs> investors are just easily spooked so don't take it as like i'm not taking it i'm taking it with a grain of salt chris is any colors primary due to japan stock exchange increase japan stock market is just on a positive right now covers decrease of course it's due to aqua's graduation announcement however it's also increased more than the fallen in the crash last monday so it could be considered regularizing it's it's stabilizing pretty much from what it looks like more on the indie news that we have here we're doing a little bit of indie news like i always like to try to do a little bit dreamin uh is basically a smaller v new vtuber who had twitch its feet hello how is this nudity uh you know s content a gasm style emotes what was a gasm a gasm style emote or bodily fluids and it's not even a, it's not even a torso. It's not even a torso or bodily. What the what the heck? Hello? Def, she's even wearing socks. Maybe the programmer's socks hit a butt a, a bit too close to home for whoever was reviewing it. Maybe the person has a fetish. Like the person who reviewed it has a foot fetish and felt being called out. I don't know. Maybe they felt like anything having to do with feet because it's their own little fetish. They feel that it's it's too much for for uh for Twitch. I don't know. Twitch is weird. Seeing as how often feet get s both meme and for real, this does not surprise me at all. Uh, I can't believe we live in a world where Gasm is used as an example of explicitly s content, such as mainstream platform. This wouldn't have been imaginable ten or even five years from few years ago. And um, I think it might be the name I put dumb for dumb emote, and they called it bully. So I changed it to silly and got it approved. Oh, so they they did get it approved later on. You were right. So 20, I was 22 hours ago. They got it fixed. It was the name. They changed the name of this from feet to maybe something else. And it became a, um, it became okay. Like these people were saying here, if you change the name of the emote, then resubmit, it might work. And it did, which is exactly what they, what, you know, they got it working. It's the yippee emote to here, of course, exactly what I did. And it worked, name it beans. So she named it from feet an update. She went from feet to beans, like toe beans or beans, and it worked. It was just the name. It was it was the name of feet. They just consider anything with feet. It could not even have feet in it. It could be feet, and it could be a freaking duck or something, and they probably will take it as a gasm post or whatever they call it. It's weird that they have filters like this. It's very strange that they have filters like this. Twitch doesn't seem to like feet, which is, I guess, okay, interesting, weird, I don't know, but I'm glad that she got it fixed. Welcome, everybody, again to the... VTuber Showcase, the wonderful place where I try to give back to the community who has given so much to me. I appreciate you all being here. Tonight is going to be Kazimura, the Bork Bark, the Bork Bork Fox. Kazimura is a Yokai Shinigami head pad enjoyer, wholesomely unsay so. Uh, their designs are here. And we're moving on to the Twitch, which they have uh, last month. They have one of the things that they have here, random at the end. Let's see what goes on here. What are you doing, this guy? Damn it. I'm not gonna be able to finish him. I'm dead. Oh, doing pretty good. I mean, compared to what I do. Nice. I always freaking. I always fucking panic. Damn, dude. You're actually just better. Oh my goodness, Kazi. You're actually just better. Watch it. Damn, dude, that was good. What's going on? That is actually pretty freaking good. I think they were watching somebody. Oh my goodness. They jumped at it. They were shooting at me. What the fuck? Now, that was crazy. <laughs> oh nice. My God. That was freaking crazy. That was insane. But yeah, they are a little fox that enjoys all these things. They have uh, been doing this for a bit from what it looks like. They have been on Twitter, at least, on Twitter since 2022. They've been at it for at least two years. And I wanted to give them a little bit of extra uh, showcase onto them and hope the best for them 
and I thank you so much for being part of the VTuber Showcase, Kazimora, and I do wish the best for you going forward, and I hope that this brings a little bit more eyes to your channel. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.